uh, a treat. I haven't gone to see the Olimar mirror in like two years. All right, G Pick, I'm taking your word for it. I'm yeah. skeptical, but I'm, <laughs> but I'm taking your word for it. All right, let's see. Let's see. You oh. see? <laughs> <laughs> smash attacks. It, it's sma like right now we have some light zoning, but the moment they enter mid range, you're gonna see a lot of smash attacks come out. Barely this, even any grabs. This is like uh, dodgeball in PE class. Just like, beep, 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 people, people throwing out no headshots. <laughs> oh, almost managed to get that grab. So right now for the folks back home, Jade is the green one with the tag triggered. Uh, Solomar rocking the default with have fun. Solomar is just a smiley guy, man. Every time I see that guy, he just looks like he's smiling. <laughs> oh my god, the mutual white sticks. <laughs> and though this is this is absolutely chaotic. No, no timeouts really happening here. You know, I think it's I think it's got to be like a little bit more difficult to keep track of what Pikmin that you know are still alive of yours. You know, when they're up close, it's kind of hard <laughs> to tell which one you have on deck. Oh yeah, absolutely. And we, we definitely see uh, Solomar a little bit more reversed in this match because it's mostly like Jade that's going for these grabs, right? Whereas Solomar is like, well, I, I just exist outside of these grab range with my, with my smash attacks. Oh, here we go. Jabe actually does find his first grab, though. Yeah, the down air from ledge. I just love the sound effect of that yellow, yellow, yellow Pikmin landing. A little, like, crunchy shock. Oh, yeah. Although Sakurai really could have uh, recorded more than one side effect for the side B. <laughs> Ah, uh, no. Are you th there are more than one, actually. Yeah, it, it, there's a slight variation. All right. So many dead Pikmin. <laughs> Whenever they get a Pikmin on them, they run back and forward smash to kill it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do you think? I mean, the win condition here is just... Out damage your opponent and get the first killing smash attack. Yeah, I mean... Oh! No! <laughs> <laughs> oh! You know, like I said... Glorious massacre of Pikmin. It's it's so hard to really even break down what's happening because there's so many interactions with every Pikmin toss. Because yeah. the Pikmin go through each other, I, I they the stall each other's smash attacks. You have interact. That four smash was three interactions in that one four smash. I, I think that's. A, I think you know at the one that actually traded and killed. I think Solomon had the purple. I think Jabe had like a yellow or something. Oh yes, that's yeah. What happened. So it's funny how. You, you both have to keep track of what Pikmin you have and what they have, you know? But that blue Pikmin grab actually from Jabe is going to close out the first stock. So we got one stock apiece. Solomar immediately losing the yellow Pikmin says, I need this purple so I can break through this wall of nonsense. <laughs> Gives himself a jab. Looking for a purple back air. Doesn't find it. Jabe disengages entirely. Jabe finds his own grab. Tries to get some party started. Oh, my God. That purple killing the opponent purple. That's huge. Yeah, man. You know what this feels? It feels like I'm, I'm trying to commentate an RTS game right now, and it's really tough to talk about these guys' micro all at once. New respect for, for StarCraft casters. Yeah, oh. I don't know how they do it, man. <laughs> That's why they get paid the big bucks, do you pick? <laughs> I thought it was just because of dev support, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, true. true. <laughs> all of these uh, side pieces, especially with the purples, being able to cut right through the forward smash attempts. Meanwhile, Jabe, though, having the opportunity to cover some landings. Solomar, with the luxury of being able to tell which side that Jabe was going for, reads a jump get up, doesn't find it. Jabe, oh, doing all right. Go, th goes for it all right there. Recovers away. No Pikmin on deck. This is chance, Solomar's chance to, to really get in his face. But one thing we see Jabe do a lot is when he uppies high on a stage, he'll almost always land with an aerial, right? Like, mm -hmm. like this saw, like an air or whatever. So Solomar could definitely like, catch on to that, hit him with an F smash upon landing, or just shield it and punish. We have four purple four fellas. Purples, then. We have the, the flying purple people. Oh, Solomar was the first one with a dead purple. Oh, but Jabe's purple soon follows afterwards. This is crazy, man. Dude, this is a four minute. I told you this was going to go. <laughs> high, bro. Yeah, but you did it feel like four minutes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I want to say no. <laughs> All right. Out of the respect I have for your opinions, Deepit, which is very oh. high. Oh! That the, the red one just kind of cut through the blue one. Don't act like oh, you got there. <laughs> Yes! Solomar, that's it! <laughs> Don't act like you didn't genuinely pop off like three times in those uh, ten seconds. Uh, you're right. And then you're tell right. me that this is not a fun set to watch. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is super fun. This is super fun to watch. Okay. I'm having a blast. I'm just saying it didn't feel quick. Didn't, okay. It was a long, it was a long, it was a goodie. Yeah, I enjoyed it, every, every, every of the many seconds. A lot of peaks. A lot, a lot of peaks. <laughs> a lot of interesting <laughs> moments. And the Olimar mirror. All right. Uh, Solomar Jabe, we're going to Battlefield this time. An even bigger stage. 
with even bigger blast zones. Oh my goodness, being able to get that grab on Jabe while a white was on him. Look, 43% for Solomar. Jabe not able to find quite the same. Yeah, this really is like an RTS. It's like two big bosses thrown out, two kings. Like one of the Pikmin, you know, why percent the Pikmin to war? <laughs> just, just, Olimar, you go, you go throw hands if you got a problem with the other Olimar. <laughs> no, no way, no way, no way, no way. Olimar is a, is a blue, blue collar man. His hands are already too callous from driving a delivery truck all day. <laughs> he's uh, He's got to go ahead and let, let his homies, the Pikmin, pick up the slack. I guess, man. These Pikmin, I don't know what he feeds these Pikmin, but they're loyal, man. Uh, the corpses of his enemies. <laughs> oh, <dude. It> <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's no way the Pikmin are as cute as they look, man. That's that's, that's a clever guy. <laughs> oh, dude, in, in the bad ending for a Pikmin 1, uh, the Pikmin grab Olimar's body and bring him back to the Onion and make new Pikmin out of Olimar. No. Like, they, they have, like, their, their oh, loyalty the is spike? only stem deep. And, yeah, stage spike right stem there. Stem deep. <laughs> with the... Uh, I don't even know what color Pikmin it was, but it was definitely a down air. Yeah, you know, it was kind of an interesting angle for the stage fight. I just don't think Jay was ready for it. Oh, I mean, absolutely I, I wasn't yeah. ready for it. It's it's not only that. Like, there is always that potential of it being untackable, too. Because, like, there are some untackables that still have the blue sparks. So you actually can't be 100,000% sure while watching whether or not it was or wasn't techable. Up air beats out the down air. Just forward smashing through the Pikmin wave. But Stay gets caught Almost. by the grab. Yeah, that was blue, too, so... Uh, still wasn't able to kill, but goes through the extended hurt box, the white Pikmin on the side beat. Mm -hmm. So that F-Smash actually hit from distance, man. That was some Steph Curry range yeah. on the F-Smash. Oh, waiting so hard for the air dodge, and Jabe gives it to him way too late. Oh, that, man. Pivot, pivot blue Pikmin grab, or just any, any of the Pikmin grabs. It, it's such a, a oh, huge hitbox. It's absolutely huge. It's like a grappler hitbox. It's it's a very good bait, especially when you finally get in on Zoner, and you see him running away. He's like, ah, yes, now he's in my <laughs> hands. Now I can kill him, and then you just get grabbed. Yep. Say la, la vie, man. Jabe disengaging to the other side. But oh. Solomar with a purple squad right now. Yeah, purple squad, but more importantly, squashing the purple that Jabe had. Jabe actually armoring through that purple hit. Wow. I actually really think the purples are amazing in this matchup because they do beat out of the Pikmin as a purple ends it up. Uh, cleaning up Jabe's second stock. Solmar going up 2-0 in this wacky Olimar ditto, man. Jabe uh, thinking very carefully about Stroke. how best to approach this uh, interesting matchup. Stroking the beard, taking some time to think. Solmar actually, like, his face, he kind of looks serious, but you can tell he's having fun under that like, serious look. Like, as an Olimar lover himself, he has to be enjoying this. Man, I don't know. Solomar does not like this mirror. <laughs> oh, yeah. This mirror is, is fun in that it's stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's it's like probably one of those things that's more fun to play in friendlies than in tournaments. Absolutely. That's you know that's I mean? the best way to phrase it. Yeah, it's it's fun if you're just like coin flipping and like not really minding the result, but like when you have money and like placement on the line. Right. Uh, you don't want to play these sort of matchups. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's kind of like I used to play uh, you know Falcon solo Falcon. Dittos are the most fun in the world when there's not money on it. You know, like. Yeah. But right now, Solomar kind of carrying off that momentum game one. I mean, it's kind of hard to like see exactly why he's winning all these trades. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> he seems to be doing so. Right? Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, he seems to have F Smash right there. Well, uh, part of it has to do with, I think, he was the one who was able to get a purple in his lineup first. Right. And like as we've seen, like purple, when like it clashes with other Pikmin, it just defeats the other Pikmin and hits the other guy in the face. And more importantly, it causes stun on them. And that stun means that they can't keep pressing side B, but you still can. Right. So you're able to start winning the, to the tempo war right. in terms of uh, Pikmin out on screen the most. It's why uh, back in the custom meta, like it was optimal in the Olimar mirror, you had to run tackle Pikmin for that same property. Because otherwise, like you wouldn't, you would just end up in this situation. But the tackle Pikmin Olimar, their Pikmin just ends up, their site B ends up killing all the opponent Pikmin, and it's still <laughs> hitting the Olimar. That's pretty cool. Okay, yeah, but we actually just saw Solomar toss away his purple. He doesn't want it right now for whatever reason. Yeah, I, right now I think part of it is given that how high of a percent he's at, the purple is actually going to weigh him down. Uh, and I think he also maybe he recognizes the potential for a uh, blue grab kill as well. True. Oh. Waits a little bit. Oh, that was so brave. Oh, yeah. my God. Trying to fake him. I was like, I know you're not going to see me keep going in. I know I know you're going to think, no, surely he's going to fade back, but no. That was one of those things that like probably was better in theory. Like, oh, fake him out. But, but. It, It's one of those things that if Jabe guessed the, the other way at the last moment, we'd be like, Solomar's a genius! Yeah, exactly. But like, exactly. it, because Jabe, Jabe made the correct call, uh, we're, we're not in that timeline. Yeah, it's one of those things where like, 
if DeBuzz or something did that at all. I would be like, wow, DeBuzz, really? Thinking he's playing 3D chess right now, thinking 100 steps ahead. But yeah, it's funny. If you saw like a first time player playing it. Ooh. Getting the jump down air. Jabe still holding on 130%, though. My goodness. Yeah, and two purples from Solomar, so I mean. A lot of things can kill Jabe right now. Uh, no, actually, Jabe is the one with double pur uh, purple. Solomar's purple oh, you, just got oh, killed. You're, oh, you're right. You're yeah. absolutely right. Oh, <laughs> uh, here we go. Solomar with his own purple. Oh, nice. Able to snipe on a white one, getting an extra 6% onto Jabe every little bit counts. Does one tick do 6 as a white? Uh, I believe each tick does like 5 or 6%, yeah. Wow, okay. Whites are really good. Yeah, they are. Yes, they are. Yeah, because like, the blues and yellows and reds only do like 1% one, one or so. Mm-hmm. 1.1, I think it is. It's like, yeah, 1 or 2%, yeah. Oh, almost getting... You see how carefully Solmar aims whenever he has a, a white one on deck, right? Very clearly aiming for the jugular right there, trying to widen this gap as much as possible. Wow, purple toss already setting Jabe off stage. It's off stage, it just rolls on. Solmar unable to cover it. Solmar but having almost no Pikmin. Just yep. trying to chill with the two Pikmin he's got. Looking to try to cover this landing. He's got a blue one on deck, so I mean, a grab right now could be Ooh. it, but Jabe just covers the run in with the F smash. That's actually the Jabe. I'm going to patent that right now. I've seen Jabe do that on every setup he's been, every set I've watched of him. <laughs> when he detects somebody's going to run up, he just throws that in F smash, and just, it works so often. Yeah, just flick that C stick forward. <laughs> I mean, I think I think Solomar's uh, thinking there is, especially after that long of intimidation and, and careful, cautious play, he was like, okay, surely I've cooled down. Jabe's jets at this point, where yeah. if I do the run-up heavy committal grab option, he's going to be too relaxed to immediately press a button, and that ended up not being the case. Yeah, uh, Jabe still able to, to stay, stay frothy and angry, regardless of the time left on that clock. Fro yeah, very frothy. <laughs> Definitely frothy. It, it's frothy and frosty. Those are the, the, two, the two ends of the spectrum. <laughs> What spectrum is that? Uh, of, of, of the player like temperament, right? Yeah, how, yeah. how cool or hot you are, how long you're willing to wait for your opponent to press the button versus how fast you're going to press your own. Is that a G-Pick original? Uh, it might be. Wow. I, I literally just said it right now. Put that one in your biography. <laughs> I'll put it in my highlight reel. Yes. All right, right, right now, man. The down tilt's are actually just shredding through. OK, so it looks like Jabe's strategy at this point is actually just killing Solomar's Pikmin. Or at least the heavy targets. Look, he's charging these smash attacks. He's trying to kill them in single hits. But the thing is, Solomar's able to pluck new ones in the meantime. Yeah, bro. This, you're not going to win this war of attrition. You know what I mean? You got you to gotta hit the big man. Yeah. You got you to sneak around the army. Got to go for the king. Make sure you don't miss. Oh, my God. Those were four F smashes <laughs> in the middle of the stage. You know, I definitely think that Solomar uh, is the better player when it comes to side B wars in the ditto. Like, Jave has done, you know, the game he won, he did with, like, hard reads, crazy adaptation. Oh, was that the red Pikmin, the back purple Pikmin, Rob Bear? Uh, I believe I'm, it was. It, it might have been. I literally blinked during the down throw. No worries. Yeah, it was. It was. So Solomar had a really specific kill window, and he was able to execute. So cool Very stuff. Very nice. But yeah, like, when Jabe does well, it's because he has, like, some crazy read or something like that. But in terms of just the side B wars, Solomar seems to be coming out on top more often than not. I, I think it's just Solomar has had to play this matchup more against York. Uh, when he when he travels every now and then, then he runs into him in a bracket. I would not be surprised if this was Jabe's first time doing the Olimar mirror in his life. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Yeah, because I mean, it's it's rare that you have one Sol Solomar in the region or Olimar in the region rather, let alone two. Mm -hmm. And NorCal, uh, we're we're built different up here. <laughs> this is this is this is good art right now. Seeing the clash of waves and waves of ponds going against each other. <laughs> the tides. Oh my goodness. This wall, like right now, this is what's so powerful is having that wall of double purple, right? Being able to really force the opposing Olimar off stage with it by slowly advancing step by step. You can't really do that with, uh, with any other Pikmin color. Yeah, it's crazy how how much better the. If I mean, I think there's there's something to just like farming purple Pikmin in this matchup, just having as many as possible as often as possible. It seems like they're both getting so much off of them. It's hard to say because the Pikmin are also your ammo, right? So like while you're farming, you actually have less ammo than your than your opponent. So if your opponent comes in, like every Pikmin you have is like the number of smashes you can do until you have to wait for your Pikmin to get back to you. Like you could do three F smashes back to back to back. Um, 
But if you only have like one Pikmin, you can only do one S-Mash. You can't do another S-Mash right afterwards, so then you'd have to disengage. So it leaves you on a worse footing in terms of the neutral in that sense. So yeah, I can definitely yeah. see why they want to keep having three Pikmin intact as much as possible. But they can clearly recognize how strong the purples are because they keep right. killing each other's purples and the yeah, moment they have the chance to. And I think actually, especially so uh, Solomar is playing with that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a double purple side me. <laughs> That's never going to get old. Yeah, I think I think Solomar is kind of displaying a happy medium though between those two. He's like he is definitely using all of his Pikmin as ammunition, as you said. I love that analogy, by the way. Oh, oh wow! There we go. The off purple the up air, I believe, managing to pick him off the ledge. Solomar laughing about the mirror match <laughs> to Jabe right now. That was 